It came with little warning. At Maryborough in central Victoria, the weather was so fierce that front yards were a blur. At Lara, trees were torn apart, downing power lines as they fell. Yeah, the storm came over. It was quite wild. I thought, oh, this is getting worse and worse. I uh, poked my head out and um, yeah, saw a bunch of power lines and trees came down. It all happened within the space of about three to five minutes. After days of sunshine, a damaging storm cell swept the state, sparking damaging winds, heavy rain and large hail. There was also havoc on Melbourne's train network and V-line services, with storm damage leaving commuters waiting for buses or trying to find another way home. Melbourne was hit right on school pickup, soaking uniforms and slowing down cars. Uh, we saw gusts of 122 kilometres an hour at Avalon. Likely gusts of that magnitude, potentially more, is what resulted in the damage to the transmission lines near Anarchy. At Oakley in the city's southeast, fences were flung into the air before coming crashing down. At a car park near the popular Eaton Mall, trees lay where they fell, ripped out of the ground. This was the scene just a few suburbs away in Mount Waverley, the force of this falling tree crumpling a van almost in two. Traffic lights on major roads were also on the fritz, leaving emergency services battling bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic as they rushed to a driver in Narry Warren after a branch fell through their sunroof and slammed into them. They were flown to hospital with lower body injuries. The Weather Bureau has downgraded warnings for Melbourne, but the threat of severe thunderstorms still persists for eight districts across the state. Danny Tran, ABC News, Melbourne.